what is going on everybody this is dirt greedy with a brand new video gives a shit now i know i am a couple days late about this xbox all access stuff i'm pretty sure you heard about it but if you didn't xbox all access is rumored to be a special program xbox is uh, going to do with the xbox one s and the xbox one x uh, for two years, you can rent to own these consoles. For two years, they say you will get the console, Xbox Live Gold, and Xbox Game Pass for $22 for the Xbox One S. And you will get those same things for the Xbox One X for $35 a month. Now, when I first heard this, I thought this was great news. But I'm on Twitter and I'm noticing a lot of people have some negative uh, uh, reactions to Xbox Live. I'm sorry, Xbox One Access, All Access. Negative thoughts like calling it the welfare box, calling it the Obama phone box, or whatever. I'm like, nah, these guys can't be serious, right? Now, I understand the console war. I understand taking shots at Microsoft. I understand Microsoft guys taking shots at Sony. I understand all of that. So I'm really thinking these guys are trolling just for the sake of the console war. And no, some of these guys are not trolling, man. They're not trolling at all. I'm seeing guys say, if you can't afford a console, you probably shouldn't be gaming. I'm like, wow, these guys are very insensitive and very selfish. Um, these are selfish comments to me. I said, damn, man, do these people know everybody in America's financial situation? But I'm really like, no, nah, these guys got to be trolling, man. And no, these guys are not trolling. For the most part, the reactions have been pretty positive from some PlayStation guys and a lot of Xbox guys. The reaction has been positive from most people. But with some people, I'm just amazed. They're like, oh, no, nah, Xbox is garbage. They don't have any games. They don't have any games, and they're never going to have any games. Well, if they did just invest in five new studios, so what? They're still not going to have any games. And this program is trash. Xbox One X can't do 4K. I'm like, hold on, what is all this? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? This is a program for unfortunate people that don't have that much money. You know what I'm saying? Or they can only buy certain things, but they can afford $22 or $35 a month. They can afford that. Listen, man. If you watched my last video, I did a story about Shimu and how I didn't have any money and all that stuff. Let me tell you guys something. I'm speaking from experience here. In the early 2000s, I was broke as hell. Right? Broke as hell. Had a wife, two kids. Broke as hell. And I'm a gamer. But <laughs> I needed a refrigerator. Right? I needed a refrigerator. And I didn't have the money to plop down six, seven hundred dollars or four or five hundred dollars on a refrigerator. What did I do? I went to errands. I went to errands to get a refrigerator. And I paid a monthly fee. Right? So, it helped me out at that time. I know what you guys are going to say. Yeah, Dirt, that's a refrigerator. You need a refrigerator. An Xbox is something you don't need, you just want. And you're absolutely right about that. An Xbox is something you don't need, you want. A hobby. Check this out. Imagine a single mother. A couple kids. She want to get her kids an Xbox for Christmas. All right? She can't afford to, you know, spend four or five hundred dollars or something like that. But instead, she can afford to pay twenty-two dollars a month to get her kids an Xbox One S and Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. She can afford that. And y'all, y'all can play games, have a good old time, play with your friends online. What's wrong with that? But no, it's the welfare box. I think that's so insensitive just to be so close-minded to feel this is not a good deal to feel this is not pro-consumer this is definitely pro-consumer but you guys are like no nah, this is trash Xbox is trash or they're desperate they're losing so bad that they gotta do shit like this because they're desperate then I'm hearing these other things I'm hearing what about your credit they're going to check your credit all of this is speculation right because we don't have the details Microsoft didn't say anything that haven't come out to officially say this is true. We don't know anything about it. So it's all speculation. 
Now, speaking from experience of a guy that rented stuff from Aaron's or Renner Center, unless they changed the rules from the early 2000s, when I rented it, they didn't check my credit. Because you know why? My credit was dog shit at the time. And they checked my income. They wanted to make sure I had a job. They checked my income and made sure I had a job. Then they gave me the refrigerator and said, yo, you got to pay this amount every 15th for the month. So I can't see them checking credit for Xbox. I could be wrong, but I can't see that. Then I'm hearing, well, I did all the calculations of how much the Xbox One costs and Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass. And this Xbox One on Access is only $20 less. It's not worth it. What in the hell is wrong with you people? Twenty dollars less. That's one. That's good. First off, and second reason, if you guys ever financed anything, uh, paid a monthly note on. Okay, like for example, a car. Say you about to get a twenty thousand dollar car. It's rare that people have twenty thousand dollars sitting in the bank account. There's a few people out there, I'm sure, but it's rare people that got twenty thousand dollars sitting in their bank to go buy a car cash. So what do they do? They finance the car to have a monthly car note. That over five years they will pay the car off. But check this out. You can't finance for free. The company gotta get their money. So if the car costs twenty thousand, I'm pretty sure you're gonna finance twenty-five thousand or more. Because they need their money. They're helping you out. You can't afford this car outright, but you can afford it monthly. Now Microsoft isn't charging a finance fee. If this is if all this stuff is true. They're actually giving you a $20 reduction if you do it this way. So how is this bad? How is this bad? Can somebody tell me, please? I get it though, y'all. Console war. I get it. Console war, everything Microsoft does is bad. I get it. Everything Sony does is great. Everything Microsoft does is bad. I get it, y'all. It is what it is. It is. Well, anyway, y'all, I am about to get out of here, man. I appreciate y'all who rock out with me. I truly do. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, damn, that is so damn sad. If you think I'm decent enough, you stumbled upon my channel, you say, this guy doesn't sound like a piece of shit. He might be all right. Hit that subscribe button. And if you subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell to know what my black ass is doing some new content. All right, y'all. Thank you, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love.